igbowo le otun ko ma wa sori mi release of consignment for living will be released to me awon akan se ebun fun igbe aye ko ma wa si aye mi baba you fortify my heart with the grace of obedience ko so mi di alagbara nipa ori ofe fun igboran that in obedience this year we not lag behind be ninu igboran lodun yi mi oni reyin Lord you will help my heart to obey your word. Olorun ran kan mi lowo lati gbona si oro re. You will help me to act according to your word. Na mi lowo lati le ma sise gege bi oro re. Lord this is my desire. Eyi ma ni fe oya mi. Thank you Father because you have heard us. To the people to gbo ohun wa. Jesus name we pray. Lord ko Jesus ni agbadura. Thank you Lord Jesus for who you are. Hayan Jesus fe ni to je. Thank you for allowing us to come again to witness what you have in store for us in 2021. Yo to gba wa laaye lati tu wa ri ohun to ni fun wa ni odun 2021. Thank you for this new beginning at at his feet in 2021. Hayan fun ibere otun ni ese re yi ni odun 2021. Baba as we have prayed Olorun baba ba ti gbadura I want a new beginning of power I fe ibere otun ti agbara a new beginning of unique encounters otun ti ba pade to yato a new beginning of blessing at your feet ibere otun ti ibukun ni ese re a new beginning of release of consignment for living as we come to your feet in the name of Jesus so fun awon ebun fun igbe aye ba tin wa si ese re fortify our heart with grace to be your word wa fun ori ofe lati gbona si oro re thank you Father, oh she Baba, we destroy the works of the devil in our midst. Abai she she we learn in what? We destroy the works of the devil around us. Abai she we destroy the work of the devil in our city. We destroy the work of the devil, the works of the devil in our town and in our states. We destroy the works of the devil in our nation. We destroy the works of the devil in our continent. We destroy the world of the the works of the devil in the entire world. Let Christ be enthroned in the heart of men. Let us witness what you have spoken to us about. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated. Turn your Bibles to Luke chapter 14. E ka se bibeli wa si iwe Luke ori ikerinla we are studying from verse 16 to verse 24 afe ke ko lati ese kerin di logun de ese kerin le logun Luke 14 we Luke ori ikerinla verse 16 to 24 kerin di logun si ikerin le logun we are still on our studies in the parables of Jesus as wa lori awon eko wa lori owe ti Jesus pa learning Christ in the parables ke ko Jesus lati nu owe so today we are moving to study 11 lo ni an lo se eko eko kan la and uh, the study title is the father's desire fuller house eh akori eko isi ni ife inu baba ile kikun the father's desire is fuller house ife inu baba ohun ni ile kikun let's read i may not permit the interpreter to read e je ka ka mi o ni gba ko gbo fo o ka o then said he unto him a certain man made a great supper and bid many and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidding come for all things are now ready and they all with one consent began to make excuses the first said unto him i have bought a piece of ground and i must needs go and see it i pray thee have me excused and another said i have bought five yoke of oxen and i go to prove them i pray thee have me excused and another said i have married a wife and therefore i cannot come so that servant came 
and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the old and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and edges, and compare them to come in, that my house may be filled. I would like you to underline that last phrase in verse 23. That my house may be filled. That is where we have drawn the title for this study. The father's desire fuller house. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidding shall taste of my supper. Mm. May the Lord bless this word in our heart in Jesus' name. We thank God that God brought us to this point. We enter into 2021 and the Lord told us this year is the year of harvest. And the first study mm. which God brought to us is a study that is coming to tell us how we must fix the business. This is not just a premeditated thing. God made it so. Uh, for me as a person, I've been looking for opportunity to train people that will be going out together to reach out to people. I was thinking to achieve that before the close of 2020. But even if I'm available, I'm thinking of others. Would it be convenient for them with end of the year's activity? Even though we still do that, um, but this is enough for us now. This study is enough to, to send something to us. Now, this Bible study today, this particular topic, is not for head knowledge. This parable comes with instruction. Sometimes when you read certain passages in the Bible, you are exposed to some act of God and you learn God. And in some passages, it's a direct instruction that you have to obey. So this one particularly is to let us see the heartbeat of the Father and also come with a commission. Let's look at the preamble. We have looked into this parable in one of our past studies and particularly study four as we filled it on the matter of God's provision for our salvation, now from the record of Luke, we will peruse the same parable in the account of Matthew 22nd from verses 1 to 14 with a peculiar emphasis for our learning. Ati wo we yini o koninu awon eko ti ati kosa yin bi ati lori ipese Olorun fun igbalawa. Nisisin ya o wo lati inu akosile luku. A o ma sha tun yewo iru owo yi kan na ti o wa ninu Matthew 22 1 to 14. Pelu atenumo o to fun eko wa. 
I believe you remember that we have looked at the issue of um, this parable from Matthew 22 1 to 14. If you remember, where did we do it? I want to check with you if you really remember. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was not here, it was Arubodade's house. Thank you. For now, the focus of our learning in this set of parables are issues pertaining to the gospel in this age. If you just want to call what you know, I want to pay away to your nation, but we in really need in a G. Now, you know, we have. I told you that the parables that Jesus said in the scripture there are about 40 and, and I categorized them under five different groups we have explored the first group that is the parables concerning salvation we are in the second this is the second to the last in that group that is concerned the parable concerning Christianity or gospel in this age. Now we have so that is the focus. We are learning Christianity. What is the gospel in our age? Shini and konipa Christianity. God has made all things ready long ago in the gospel for the souls of men to be nourished and be satisfied. The souls of men must truly eat and drink and God has provided this in Christ whom we preach in the gospel. Unfortunately, for human beings, what majority long for and pursue is not what can nourish and satisfy and that is the ephemerals iyonu to wa fun awon omo eniyan ni pe ohun ti opolopo npo ngbe fun ti won si nle pa je awon kan ti o le bo kan won ati mu itelorun wa awon ohun mere mere aye amen amen now when you look at uh, this parable ti aba wo we ta nsoro yi jesus spoke this parable when he sat to eat jesus soro we nigba to joko lati je un And he started to say in verse 15, Blessed is he, one of those people who sat with him. They were, they were eating together. Now, this person now said, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Now, from physical food, Jesus went to discuss sumptuous meal that God had provided in the gospel by sharing this parable. Jesus what test what you like to run your power on your did not allow not to be seen. Nick back people away are in relation. The first approach we had on it in study four in Matthew twenty two were looking at it from the angle of salvation experience. On a cockotty Jason, but a cock out by your woe, only on on will let you really bala. We, 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 we look into it. I'm trying to remind you of what we did in study four. You are telling our little touch in your cocker in you because everything that the Bible say, if you see a repeat of a particular event, there is a different message that God want to communicate. So then, we go to be belly bass or tell body put on swat a certain way. So that time we were telling you that you have to come into Christ because there is there are some thoughts male in Christ. Now by this own parable, Jesus was trying to let people know that yeah, 
people we eat and there is meal that God had provided for people to eat in the kingdom of God. Jesus wants to pin it to a one year you jam at your own to be someone jar did do you need your body. That was what led to this parable. Unto more loss in no way. There is a sumptuous mean that satisfied the soul of man that nourished the soul of man. Unja did not come bear to man tell kind in your lawn to man but in a jenny a jayo and this meal is in Christ Jesus. And we are to eat it here, not in heaven. It is he or she who eats here, mm. who eats that meal here, that we qualify to sit with Christ in heaven to dine and wine with him. Do you follow to this point? Shatter, now, baby. what I'm trying to establish with you in that paragraph is the souls of men truly needs to eat. Truly needs to drink. What the souls of men need to eat mm. and drink is in Christ Jesus Atipi. that we preach. And that is why we must preach the gospel. Unfortunately for human beings, what majority of us we long for and we are pursuing, they are food, drinks that cannot nourish our soul and that cannot satisfy our soul. We are only pursuing the ephemerals. Uh -huh. And those things they cannot satisfy our soul. The soul of a man is so mm -hmm. big. That even if you put the whole world there, mm. it's not satisfied. The only thing that satisfies the longings of the soul of man is Christ. But unfortunately, the devil does not want us to see it. Doesn't want to, to see Christ. As why he has actually blindfolded mm. the people in the world. So even when you are telling them they don't see, it. they believe that they have to pursue things. And they are running and running and running when they get it here, they are not satisfied. Please, do you follow to this point? So the bread and the drink that we truly needed is in Christ Jesus. Do you get that? Now let's move to the next paragraph. The servant sent in this parable to go and tell those who were specially invited is not angel. Angel is a Christian who had been saved, nourished, and satisfied by the God's provision in Christ Jesus. Christiani kan ni ti ati gbala ti ati bo ati telonu ni pa ipisi Olorun ninu Christ Jesus. Are you with me? She wa pelu mi. Just as a sensible man we not send a stranger such an errand. God will never send a stranger to bring people into his house. Gege bi eni ti o ni la kaye ko se ni ran alejo ni se Olorun ko ni ran alejo ni se lai lai lati mu eniyan wa sinu ile re. The heartbeat and the strong desire of the father is a fuller house. Mm. A ko kaye ati ife inu baba ni ile kikun Brothers and sisters are you with me? Arakun ni atarabirin se wa pelu mi sha. 
please do you get this thing now this preamble is just explaining the parable if you can say for you to understand the parable there was a meal provided in a house and the father the the owner of the house ati baba to ni leyi as a servant that he had sent to go and bring him those whom he had invited to partake o ni iranse kan ti o ti pe si re sile pe iwo lo lo pe awon ta fi we pe wa o and the message he sent him to tell them is that all things are now ready kan lo so fun won pe gbogbo nkan ati shetan and he went o de lo ba ti ran now we now said that the servant that was sent here i was so pe ran se ta ran ni bi is not an angel ki n se angel is a christian christian kan ni a christian who has been saved christianity at igbala who has been nourished ta ti bo by the food that the father gives that he has now provided for his guest nipa o nje ti baba ti pese to tu wa ti pese e sile fun awon alejo to tun bo bayi he was not only nourished by it ki se wi pe abo iranse yen nikan he was himself satisfied by that same meal o re o ti je ni aje gbadun aje telorun so that's what makes anybody a christian on to mu kiyan di christian ni won we are christians because we are saved mm. by God's provision on the cross. Awa je Christian ni tori pe agba wa la ni pa ipese Christ lori gi agbele. And we are nourished to a particular level in our spiritual growth such that we can be standing and uh, be responsible to be sent on an errand. Asi bo wa de pe pele kan ni ipa giga wa ninu igbe aye Christ ni wa de bi wi pe aye lati ran lo si ita and when we were nourished we are satisfied nigba ta bo wa yen se la te wa lorun now he who has been saved eni ta wa ti gbala nourished in christ born in christ and the satisfied by the by god's provision in christ jesus ta te lorun nipa ipese to wa ninu christ jesus will be the one that baba we sent to bring in orders into his house irufe ni be yen ni baba wa mo ran pe re mu awon mi wa we never see a man who is sensible that we send a stranger in an era on an era eni eni kan ti ori re pe ti yo wa ran alejo ni se so if we human being cannot do that ti awa eyan o ba le se baun now we should not also expect that god we just send anybody to go and bring in people into his house o ye ka re ti wi pe olorun na kan wa ran enikan ti o mo ri pe iwo ni ko lo ma won yan wa sinu le mi what we are communicating to you is this o tan gbe enju ati so fun wa re o are you a christian she christian ni o bi if you are a christian ti iwo ba je christian then you must be the servant in this parable tori na o gbudo je iran se ta nsoro re ninu owe If you have been nourished by the word of God. Ti aba ti bo ni pa oro Olorun. If you have been satisfied with Christ. Ti aba ti fi Christ te Olorun. Then you should be the servant of the Father now. O wa ye ko ti di ranse baba yen bayi. To tell others that all things are ready. Lati le lo so fun awon toku pe ati se gbogbo nkan tan that baba want his house to be full bi baba yi n fe kile o kun please do you learn to this one sha ke ko de now let's continue the e flimsy excuses of those who were invited provoked him and he has concluded his judgment about them awon awa wi ti ko ni itumo ti awon ti a fi iwe pe n wi bi baba ninu ati pe o si ti se idajo won we don't we are not concerned about those ones ah 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 lo si odun awon yen please do you agree that we are not concerned about them ah ah lo so bi e you were not 
when you were invited to Christ, you didn't give excuse. And if you are still giving excuses in your heart, then you are only incurring God's judgment on yourself. But I want to believe there is nobody here that is still having excuses. It's an assumption. But that is not our, our, our focus here. Uh -huh. Now let's continue. Notwithstanding, many are still hungry out there languishing in pains and regret they must be brought into his house si be si be opolopo ni bi si npa ni ode ti won kero ra ninu inira ati abamo agbodo mu won wa sinu ile re beloved olufe you might have invited some people to christ people ya o ti le ti pe awon kan wa sinu christi they promise you that they are coming won de so pa won bo but eventually they didn't come. You might have done that in the past. That you have labored on a particular man or a particular woman or a particular girl or a particular boy. But flimsy excuses. And in your heart you said, I have done my own. But we need to still let you know. In spite of the fact that you have many who have given you flimsy excuses. There are many there outside they are out there languishing in pain in regret they must be brought to his house so this parable has a commission for every Christian the commission is go out quickly and go out onto the highways and hedges these two phrases have formed the two subheadings of our discussion in this study please do you learn to this mm. please do you learn to this Let me recapitulate just for your for you to get something to your spirit. In the first paragraph, ni abala koko, we told you asofunwa. that the souls of men truly need to eat and drink. We need to talk in the only lati jengko si mumi and uh, the true bread. And the true drink is Christ, whom we preach in the gospel. This true bread, this true drink satisfies the longing of the souls of men and also nourish them. And we said, unfortunately, for majority of human beings, what we pursue and we long for is not what satisfies, is not what nourishes, it is ephemeral things. Please do get that. That the ephemeral is what we are pursuing. And if you want to understand that, okay, what do you mean? Because I told you that even if you gain the whole world, put it inside the soul of man, man is not nourished. Man is not satisfied. If you really want to learn them practically, go and learn from Solomon. Solomon. Solomon got everything that everybody is running after. Solomon, 
he got them when he was writing his experience in Ecclesiastes. He said, Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. Vanity upon vanity. So the only food and the only drink that nourish and satisfy is Christ Jesus. Please do you get that? Then number two. I said that the servant in this parable is not an angel but a Christian. I will say this Christian is the person who had been saved, nourished, and satisfied by God's provision in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. The father didn't pick a stranger to send to people to bring them to his house. So, it was the man whom he had saved, nourished, and satisfied by his provision in Christ Jesus that he sent. And we made you to understand that the heartbeat of the father is that his house might be full. Ati pe on ton je olon lokan lowo lowo bai ni pe ki le on ko sha akun. Even though we have had people who had given us excuses when we invited them to Christ, when we invited them to meetings where they can be filled with different kind of excuses, reasonable and unreasonable excuses, that might made us to think that we have done our own and the lost is said to us that there are many out there who are languishing in pain who are languishing in regret they needed we need to bring them into his house pe bi o ti le je pe ni awon igba kan ri awon eyan kan ta ti soro christi fun won wa wa wi lori sirisi won igba awo kan amo pe sibe sibe a tun la won mi ti won ka ba mo lowo lowo ti won jiya ta ni lati mu wa sinu ile re please do you learn to that point then i said also in that paragraph ni this parable as a commission for you and i pe owe ni ase kan so far you are a Christian. We are told the first is go out quickly. And the second is go out to the highways and the hedges. So these two phrases we form our subtopics. Please, do you learn to this? Show one? you what? Do you really understand? Show you eh? what? Do you understand? Show you what? Now let's come to the, the first, first subtopic. Abala uh, koko. The work that must not linger. Isheti ako bodo fi fale. Hallelujah. The work that must not linger. Come to that verse 21. Let's, let's read it again. Now, so that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maim and the hot and the blind. Omo do na si padade o so nkan won yi fun oluwa re nigba na ni ba le ile binu o wi fun omo do re pe jade lo si igboro ati si abuja ona ki o si mu awon talaka ati awon alabuku arun ati awon amukun ati awon afojuwa si ihin yi do you see the work that must not linger se ri ise ti akuburo fi fale bayi do you see in that bus se ri ni be yen now the, I, I love the servant mo fe na yan se yen and we have to learn from that servant. I know I have a few brothers and sisters here who are bent to invite people to Christ, who do the work of God 
do the work of soul winning. Momo, kya ni awara kuni pede tatarabi ni pede teni bi tuwa man shishay jiri okan. But I want you to learn something this. I'm on fair koko kaka ni bi. When people gave you excuses, ni bata wanya ba shawa wifun. Did you return to the law to report to him? She un pada loss odo law on lati law fun ni abo. How many of you does that? I mean, you lament she be that you go back to God. That Lord, I went to Him. Oh, this is the excuse. I went to her. This is the excuse. How many of you do that? I mean, you lament she be that you go back to God. That Lord, I went to Him. Oh, this is the excuse. I went to her. This is the excuse. Please let's learn. When God send you, 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 when God For the fact that you have spoken and they didn't respond, does don't mean that you are not correct. We will suffer. We will see God in your soul. We will be soko solo so. Doesn't mean that you do not have the life that draws people. We will be oh near yet in finding. It doesn't mean that you don't have anointing. We will be oh near family runya oh. Doesn't mean that you are a barren Christian. We will be a ganio no Christiani. So he returned to the father, to the master, and says, "Sir, this is what they said." Oh, just the loba, oh, pada loba, baba, baba, unto ma, sorry. And he concluded on them. Baba, what we no lori on? Now he gave him. He said, "Don't sit down." Oh, ani, ma chi joko. Go out quickly. Oh yeah, just the loni sin. Into the streets. See, goro. And the lanes of the city. And, and bring hither the poor and the maimed and the old and the blind. Mu awa tala ka awa labu kwa ti awa mukun a fojuwa. Now those ones that you have gone to God gave them special invitation, but they they snub God. I want to love Balala, Koko, your Lord, no funi, ayotoni, ama, one 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 down, Lord, no long. It wasn't you that they snub. He walk on, he won't go to Kasi. It was God that they snub. Oh Lord, no, he won't go to Kasi. But a fresh commission came to this abandon. Am I share a share or two? Or to what? To how much? Go out quickly. Oh yeah, Lonnie, kia kia. The walk that must not linger. He shared here. Could both of you follow? Come to the outline. A jaw was here. What is work. this walk that must not linger? He shared in a guarantee. Could both follow? The only walk which is noble and supreme, given to us by Christ Jesus, is the preaching of the gospel. And discipleship of the nations. He shall can show show to your loyalty, O God, your to Christ Jesus. If you want to know what so in there, at this so I won't relay the day or man. So what is that work that must not linger, please? Can he share not your good of fire? Two things, eh? Preaching the gospel and what? He shall in there. Discipleship of the nations. At this so I won't in your day or man. That work must not. Linger. It shall make you genuine. It shall ban you at if you fail. Yeah, it is a noble work. It shall to lolani. It is the supreme work. It shall to gani to gaju. Is the supreme. It shall to gaju niye. If you have been praying that God use me for your glory, use me for your purpose, use me the 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 purpose of God on earth. The overall is the preaching of the gospel and the discipleship of the nations. So, but think about drop your loan on low me, low me for good. Is your loan on to guide you near ye? Only we were swinging there at this swan or the lady, dear man. That is the work. Is she any? Everything we do in the church, they are mere activities. But go and want to answer. You know, show she any? And we is she is she last Sunday? Can we read that again? This was given to his disciples about two millenniums ago, to be precise, one thousand nine hundred and ninety years ago. E yini afifu a one man ni in kambi egberu egberu meji sayi ki a soni pato egberu odun meji di mewa. Do you see? How long people have been preaching the gospel? She had a big bang. She went to town and she was swinging there. How did I arrive to this big girl? But when you must be sure of me, Kale. The church, Jesus Christ died on the cross A.D. 30. Jesus, Kuluri, Gya, Bilibu, Niyodun, A.D. 30. 
that same year about 50 days after his death Holy Ghost descended but he thought day after his death he resurrected and before he ascended to heaven after 40 days interacting with his apostles and disciples after his resurrection he gave them this commission go and preach the gospel to every creature the work that must not linger every creature must hear the gospel and he said disciple all the nation you cannot reach all the nation I cannot reach all the nation now in all of the every creature you cannot reach all of them I cannot reach all of them but God have a portion mm. our portion for us in this labor please are you with me so and when you do the calculation from AD 30 to 2020 I wrote this outline on the 30th of December 2020 Okay, 30, no, your 30 to 12, 2020, no more So when I did the calculation, it was exactly 1,990 years. 1,990 years. By 2030, you will have 2,000 years on it that mm. Jesus has gone. twenty that Jesus has given his disciples the commission mm. to go and preach the gospel to every creature T and Jesus. to disciple all the nations. T Jesus T fi ashe lo le fun awon me yin e pe ki won lo wa sun irede kan si ma so awon eyan di omo yin. Please do you learn to this one? Shake ko de bi. Eh? Please do you understand? Show ye wa. All right. There had not been any dispensation so long in the past dispensations as this dispensation of grace let me mm. permit me to take you to dispensation studies and uh, my intention is just to show you the length of each dispensation that has gone in the past. There are eight dispensations in the Bible. But seven is pertaining to human beings. The first is that of the angels. And it began from when the world was made, was created. God created the world before angels. Angels were there when Jesus was creating the world. When you study Job 38, verse 4 to 7, you will see that it was in the presence of angels that God created the world. Till the when there was chaos in Genesis 1 2, when mm. devil Lucifer wanted to take the throne from God and he was defeated and he was cast down. Titi di Genesis yori kini ese keji nigba ti ogunwa ti gbogbo e sofo yen ti esu fe gba ijoba that is none of your business iyen ni sa akoko iyen o kan wa that doesn't concern human being ko kan ya wa now the second distinction that has to begin with human being is the distinction of innocence sa keji to kan wa oni sa titi awon ti o ma nkan yeah that was from Genesis 2 verse 8 to Genesis chapter 3 verse 7 Lati Genesis yori ke jinye si yori ke jo. Adam was made in Genesis 2 8. Adam ni Genesis yori ke jese ke jinye. Brought into the garden of Eden. Amu wasi nuwa ba Eden ni. He was made to be a grown up man. 
adani okun ni to duro san san do you understand she o yewa after some years leyin awon odun die aha after some years you know i don't know whether year or day or week the wife was made to adaya we now if genesis 36 they fell genesis ori keta ese kefa won subu they were no longer innocent won won wa je ni ti o ma nkan mo do you know why kini di the forbidden fruit the knowledge mm. of good and evil before they don't have the knowledge of evil to di pe won by innocent won je iso egi imo buburu ati rere ko to di pe won je yen won ma nkan kan won kan gbe be ni gbunduku na be ni if you have studied this version they might tell you that they don't know the time te ba ti ko e ko nipa sai mhm won mo ye gba ti sa yen to je won mo now but listen egbo i know it mo mo in when ida fell he was 130 years old nipa ti adam subu omo odun 130 ni God that was the year he pregnated his wife and gave back to a king odun ti o fun yawe eloyun to bi kaininu genesis 53 said that genesis ori kanu ese keta lo so ba so the shortest of of all the dispensation is a dispensation of innocence it was do for 130 years sa to kere ju ninu awon sa yen oni sa ti awon ti o mo nkan yen fun odun 130 ni then follow by the dispensation of conscience what is sa to tell ni sa ti eri okan dispensation of conscience begin when god expelled adam and his wife from the garden of eden genesis 322 nigbati olorun le adam ati fa kuro ninu ogba ije ninu we genesis ori keta yen to the 600 years of noah in genesis chapter 8 verse 14 titi di igba aye noah ni genesis yen na so it was 656 years 656 years ni sa yen please don't be bored with what i'm telling you da ko ma je mo kan jo ko me yan ko to bi jo lati ma je o su e ma je o su so people they don't like they don't like work i want come like it tan rara why why can't you put it for us in the note eh ko le ka mo make that your additional note e ka ma ko se gbe we why i'm doing that is that when i talk about dispensation just to let you also be educated about it she ni mo so ki o ye le ba ye wa ni pa won sa so for that is when it's just 1656 years it's 1565 years 656 years that is from when adam was a spell out of garden of eden but ali adam jade to when there was flood that is the time for dispensation of human government then for the dispensation of promise that's the next sa titi liri lo atele and that is from genesis chapter 12 when god called abram genesis ori keje la niyan ti be ngba tolorun pe abram exodus 21 verse 41 titi di we exodus when Israelite came out of Egypt that one is for 535 years yen wa for 535 years then i have another one the special of the law atunigba mi eh sa ti ofin this is the longest iyi logun ju but not as long as the dispensation of grace amoko gun to sa ti wa sa ti ori ofe is 1718 years 1718 years. years only now the seventh dispensation which is the sixth for human is the dispensation of grace i sat e keje to je ikefa city awa eniyan oni sat e ori ofe when john the baptist began to preach that the kingdom of god is at hand iyen bere lati igba ti jo anu baptist si bere wa so pe ijoba olorun ko si dede and it will end when jesus will come to inaugurate his millennial reign yo si pari nigba ti jesus ba wa fi idi ijoba egbenu odun lole and that will lead to the last dispensation that is the dispensation of divine government e sa to wa kan ti kejo oni sa ti ti ijoba atoke wa now what made me to go to this ki lo je ki nlo si awon bibi is the statement i made oni ede ti mo pe nbi o and there had not been any dispensation so long in the past dispensations as 
this dispensation of grace. We go to see that to go be that to your faith. And do you know why? God does not want anybody to perish. Olorun ko fe ki eni keni ko shegbe. Because Jesus is coming, we put an end to this dispensation of grace. To reach Jesus, but he did sorry of your parini. So God keep on making the coming of Jesus a movable date. Olorun o wa nje ki ipada bo Jesus Christi o wa sun ojo yen si waju is making it movable o sha nsun ni please do you learn to the point e da ko se o can i leave that with you Olorun o sha le fi le we are at the verge of the close of this discussion that is why god is saying to us now go out quickly ati wa ni opin sa yi idini yi ti olorun fi so fun wa nisisin pe e jade lo kia kia now why did we say it, we are the verge of it kilo de ta so pa ti wa lopin e because the years that has been that we have spent it's so long and longer than the longest discussion which is the discussion of law tori pe odun ta ti lo ninu sai o ti gunju eyi ta ropo gunganju so if jesus came to interrupt the dispensation of law when it was not to 2000 ti jesus ba le wa lati mu ki opin o de ba sa ti ti ofin nigbati o ti pe egberun odun meji now and i'm not saying this one is going to last for 2000 i'm not saying that mi o si so wi pe yi ma je egberun odun meji mi so be but if it it is in 10 years time and then we come to this grace it is mere speculation i'm just saying if it were to be that god will put an end to this dispensation of grace don't you know that this commission go out quickly is applicable to us mo wa nro wi pe ero ni o wi pe ka pe sa yi ma pari ni 2030 se e ko ro wi pe ise to nso yi pe ni sisin yi ni kia kia lo ye ka se we are the verge of the close of this dispensation ati wa ni opin sa ta wa yi and i want you to believe that mo se fe ke gba yi gbo we are the verge of it opin sa yi la wa o Jesus can come any time from now. Jesus le de ni igba ku gba sisin. Now we don't need to bother ourselves about date. Ah ni lo lati yora wa lenu pelu eyi. But what we need to be bothered about is this commission that go out quickly. Amon ti o gudo yo wa lenu ni pe ase to pa fun wa lo sita kia kia. Let's come back to the outline. This command had come to every Christian in all generations at different times and circumstances. Ashe yi ti wa fun ni kaloku Christian ni gbogbo iran ni akoko ati isele oto oto. Those who obeyed also mobilized other fellow Christians to carry out the commission in their generation. Awon ti won gbo na tun ru awon Christian elegbe won soke lati se ise yi ni iran won. It is also coming to us now we must not linger any longer but be proactive in our obedience if we will not incur his anger O sin to wa wa bayi a ko gbodo fi fale sugbon ki a tara sasa ninu igboran wa ti a ko ba ni fa ibinu olorun sori wa The instruction go out quickly as come to different christians at different age ashe jade lo ni kia kia ti wa fun onikaloku christian ni iran onikaloku he came to some group of people at different time in different circumstances o wa fun awon egbelegbe eyan kan ni awon akoko kan ni igba kan and for us here ati fun awa ni bi god is bringing it to us now olorun wa mu wa fun wa bai so bai. in our own time tori na ni akoko ti wa the work that must not linger ise ti akogbodo fi fale you must not linger on it i must not linger on it emi ogbodo fi fale iwo na ogbodo fi fale what is that work again can i hear kini se yen le kan si e so fun mi o the preaching of the gospel we and what really. and discipleship of the this day. is so 
So we cannot afford to linger any longer. We must obey God. And if we will not obey God, we will incur his anger upon us. Can I leave that with you? Eh? Can we move on? Okay. Where do we need to go to? The Lord stated it clearly. The streets and lanes of the city. He didn't send us to churches. Hallelujah. Do you remember? 2018, we were going, we were doing, we were from mm. churches to churches doing mm. ICSS. Ni 2018, ICSS. Ninu ijo kijo. This one we are not commissioned to go to any church. It's not a commission to churches. The streets and the lanes of the city. Now, please look. You know, I love God. I love God. Now, he didn't say go to the villages. We have gone to the villages. Are you here? Yes, sir. Where do we need to go? Not churches. Not villages. The Lord stated it clearly. The streets and lanes of the city. We are to go to all the great streets and small streets of the city. Please, do you understand that? Great streets. Express. Not even express now. Okay. Express. Do you know when you are talking of Igboro? Great street. You are talking of uh, Ring Road, Dubai. Hmm. Akubo, mm. Mokola, those are great streets in Ibadan. I want Popo Nan La Tapas on a Kobo and Lord Challenge. Buba won't be yet. Then you have small streets. Atuani and one a cake cake in Akobo. You have Oria Pata, you have Yawiri, mm. you have EDC, you mm. have them. Those mm. are small, small streets. And I want you, I want you, Boro Keke, Kebe. You know, God is always specific. When he is speaking, when he is giving out instruction, it's not ambiguous about it. So we are to go to all, not some, all the great streets and small streets of the city. What shall we do quickly in the streets? We are to reach out to the people in both the great and small streets. We are not sent to animals, we are sent to human beings. People. We are not to trouble any with matters arising in the nation or entertain them with our talent and gifts. We will not discuss COVID-19 because there is nothing like it's COVID-19. You will not discuss Buhari there when you go to them. That is not our commission. Ah, We will not discuss uh, politics. No. That's and we are not to entertain them. The Lord didn't say go there and be singing to them so that they can enjoy. 
We will not say e jare e sare wa e wa wo e wa wo lugba la to sai e ya adupo yi wa gba we are not to entertain them ah lo be lati lo da won lara ya o we are not to bring the whole but those who are sick the poor the crippled and the blind akoran wa lati mu awon ti ara won le wa sugbon awon ti o nse aisan talaka alabuku arun amukun ati afoju we are to bring only the sick and those who do not pretend to be old those who names the physician agbodo mu kiki awon ti ara won ko le ati awon ti won ko dibon pe ara won le awon ti won ni lo ni segun na please please get it clear e da ko je ka gbo je ka o yiwa o tomorrow we start the harvest ni ola la o bere ikore hallelujah do you see this is not just a coincidence mm. this is god okay, okay, right. coming to make is can say clearer to us olorun lo nwa bayi lati mu ki oye ife re oye wa o that's why i said this this particular study is not a study for your brain to na mo so pe eko ta nko yi ke nse ko agbari if you are a christian ti o ba nse christian you are to act along with us in obedience to carry out god's commission se lo ye ko sise ko gbe igbese igbona pelu wa lati le mu ase olorun se So the master the master was so clear Baba Olorun Oluwa wa o so ni kedere ni Don't entertain anybody Ma ba mo dare ni kan ni lara ya o Don't discuss the matter arising in the nation Mama so awon oro to nsele lori ile ede wa Don't discuss COVID-19 Mama so COVID-19 o No 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 Lara you are to bring not those who are whole Ma mu awon tara won le wa o You are not to bring Christians Ma mu awon Christian ni wa You know the Christian can criticize you I want to say one le ma ba one le ma ri we see all. I be with you. One le ma ba o jinya. What what do you mean? Ki 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 lo nso bai. You are you telling me that I'm not saying. So so answer for me pay me. Just get away. E ku lo lonu le bi do. You are not saying to bring the whole. Ma lo mu awon tara won le wa. All those who are sick but they pretended that they are whole. I be awon ti won share amon won lara won le. You have them. These are three. We have three classes of people out there. Ani ru fe won eyan meta ni tan bi eyan o. And we will not know it. nobody is writing to his house I am a Christian don't mm. come here to evangelize Ko si se ni kaka to ma ko sile pe emi ti di Christian ni ma wule wole emi wa o So when you get there to ba ti denu le and you share and you say good morning so good afternoon We are here to share the word of God Shela wa ni bi lati pin oro Olorun pelu We are Christian Ah Christian ni wa o Don't start to say you must be born again Ma bere ma tu te so aju pe ani ani bu lo da tun bi ni o Leave them fi won le And don't say yes we know you are a Christian yeah, I'm but on, uh, there are many pastors that Jesus did not tell you to discuss matter that is arising in the church Jesus so fun wa pe ka lo ma so awon oro to nsele nu jo o We must understand the commission o ye ase to pa fun wa gudo ye wa those who are hold, don't bring them I want that I want le fi won le Those who pretend who are sick but they are pretending that they are old, leave them. I want you one deeper than I want. Let us learn that one. If you want to bring the sick, I want you one share. You know, <laughs> when you see people that are sick, they don't mm. check your profile. Te bari a won ta ra won oya won ni ese mo fi no kan mo fi ju won lati mo ru en to je no 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 won ni wo ru eni to je o once you appear ni kede to ba yo si won do you have something to offer me so ni kan kan lati fun mi bi You say let us pray. He's already praying. Eh, Jack, bad. You are O T D J O T N B A O T N S H A M I N I M E S A M E W A. Bring the sick. I want to run away. I know many of us will be afraid. What would? What? What? When? When? I, when we go out now? What would they be saying about us? You people that we talk to you, people that say get away from here. You, you also you are even preaching. That's a person who is sick but pretending to be old. Mm. Just walk away. Mo ko agbaya lara wa ti le mo beru kiki ni ma so bai ti ma ti e de be tan ba ti e so pe iwo na ti nwa sun alara awon tun di bon niyan ta ra won o le tan se lara awon le Jesus ni fi won le Just leave that person O ni fi rufe ni be yen le Go for the sick lo ba won alare and he said he, he enumerated the group of those sick folks O wa o wa o wa o wa yan na na awon alaisan yen the poor 
awon talaka do you understand do you know talaka poor talaka poverty is a sickness sheri ai ni ai san ni when you come to this house you know they are poor you will know to ba wole kan ti won ba ya talaka wa mo before there is poverty physical poverty they were first poor in the spirit ko to di wi pe won talaka loju taye won ati talaka nu emi you will need to preach wa wa sun fun won and they are ready to hear won si se tan lati gbo i will tell you that somebody can make your life good e ma so fun won pe enikan le so aye idirere somebody made my life too good enikan lo sha aye mi temi na idirere you can get out of this e le kuro ninu nkin ni say yes how can i ani be ni ba wo ni and you share the experience of what god have done for you wa wa pin riri on to lorun se fun iwo fun won so if you have this person to come and join you in at his feet not you don't preach at his feet first dakun mo wa sun ese jesu fun won lakoko you don't preach hebron center mo mo wa sun hebron center ibe on lo wa it is christ first christ la koko mo wa sun don't forget the true bread the true drink mm. is christ mo gba gbe o nje to to ta so omi to to ta so jesu christ ni please are you are you getting it she o nje wa preach christ christ ni ke wa su When you lead them to Christ, nigba te ba mu won wa ba Jesus. And you know that you have succeeded in leading them to Christ. Te wa ri wi pe mo ti sase ori ni mu emu eni wa ba Jesus. You can now further you know establish a relationship with this person. Ti e ba wa fe mo fi eh ah ah te fe mo sun mo eniyan dara dara si. Now can I have your number sir Oma? Le wa le bi lowo re se mu le gba number yin. Can I be calling you? She mu le ma pe yin sha. Say yes. Ato ba ni be ni. Oh, can I also invite you to meetings that she, she, she help mo, us to to grow? She mu ti e le pe yin si pade to mu kemi na da gba bayi bi. We have a meeting that it is in tadimination. Ni pade kan ma be ti ke se te lesson. Where you will learn the word of God. Ni bi to ti le ko oro Olorun. And you will grow them all. To si dagba si. You will say yes. Ah, ni be ni. So you are first led him to Christ. She la koko wa mu wa ba Christ. Then you bring him to his house. Leyin na wa wa mu wa si ile re. The house is not in prison. She ri ile yen kin se buru ni yo. The house is the community of disciples. Hallelujah. Ile yen oni awojo awon omo Olorun. Oh God. Paul said, "We are his mm. house." Paul ni pe awa ni ile re. Please do you understand that? Show you wa. Please get the logic. First, lead them to Christ. Koko mu won wa ba Christi. You know why you have to do that first? O je je mo ni te gbo se yen. Because if you don't do that first. Tori te ba koko se yen. You skip that. Te wa fu. To lead him to Hebron cell. Lati so pe o Hebron wa nbe on. He might die. O le ku before mm. next bible study. Ko to di pe a to se ese re mi. You have sent a soul to hell. O ti ran se okan kan lo sorun apa. But if you let him to cry. Amo to ba mu re ba. Even if he does not have the opportunity to come to Hebron center. Bi o ti le lori ofi ati wa si Hebron center ni bi. Oh, if he die. To ba ku. He will be waiting for you in heaven. Yo mo dro di Olorun. And when we meet in heaven. Nigba ta ba pade Olorun. We identify you. Ah, yo da o mo. That this is the brother. This is the sister ah, that led me to Olorun mu mi wa ba Christi. And you will jump together you never ba di mo ra yin. You will talk one another. Di mo ra yin. Please do you get this? Show ye wa. I will repeat myself next week. Ma tutun ara mi so to ba do se to nbo. Bring the sick. E mu awon the poor, the cripple, amokun. Now the cripple are those who wanted to follow Jesus. Awon amukun la won to fe tele Jesu be something have crippled them. Amo nkan kan ti mu kese won o lo. You what made my people say cripple? You know he was not born a cripple man. She mo pe on to mu ke yan ro lese won bi. Me fi bo se ti. Okay me fi bo se ti. He was not born a layman. Won bi ni eni te se ro. Is not when he was running. Eni ton to ju eni igba to ngbe to sa lo. And that fell. Some people had fallen in the hand of pastors. I want to see shubu la towa. I want pass it to a se. I want to run. 
They may, they may want to tell you their story. Don't be dragged to be judgmental. Don't talk that pastor. Ah, mama so Just tell him or her. Ma, sa, baba, iya. God is interested in you. Ah, Jesus, That's why he sent me to you. You can rise. And walk. Oh God, God will give you understanding. That you will not miss you this opportunity Be, to reach out. E o ni she a she lo a koko e la ti re ba wo yoso. To be doing under things. La ti man me. We will not be blessed if we don't mm. do it according to the pattern. E bu kwa lo no ni wa so di wa ta ba she ni la na ato. In affairs, it always comes with blessings. Sherry, kode man wat on ti bukon. But that is why we do it according to the pattern. A man nik ba ta ba she bi a ti la na re si le ni. Don't be drawn into argument or into issues of churches, into issues of pastors. I, I young that is why. Mm. Look at the pastors the way they mm. do. Hey, they, all of them they are wicked people. Don't mm. judge any pastor. You are not mm. sent to judge mm. any pastor. Man, they can fall. Allah see no or call or can. Tabi ko aman bless. Ni she dajo enye ah no or call or dajo eni ken. The reason why that person remain creepy is because mm. he has been judgmental, judging this person, mm. judging that. That's why he remain creepy. He ready ten years is fi yaro si ben ni wepe he dajo lo tinda la ti joy wa. Some are blind. I want to afford you. Some are paralyzed. I want to I want want to but but I want to say what you The Holy Spirit will give you understanding. I'm mama for you new. As you are relating with these people, let it burn when you look. Don't forget. Mark back be. Go out quickly. Only a loss it a kia kia. Bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them from the streets, from the lanes of the city, from the great from the street, from the, street, from the, from the small street. Bring the people, bring the people. Don't entertain them. Don't entertain them. Tell them about Christ. Don't preach discipleship. Mama, what is Sonny Domon? Jesus did not preach discipleship. Jesus, sorry, Sonny Domon Lenny. The apostle didn't preach this. I want apostle, sorry, Sonny Domon Lenny. Jesus preached the kingdom of God. Jesus saw a job alone. He preached himself. Oh, Sonny, I am the way. Only a minion. The truth. Oh, Tito and the lie. At EJ, he preached himself. Oh, what? So he preached Set you free. Baby, I'm a bastard. You shall be free in the world. He preached himself. Oh, what? So I am the bread of life. A million days. He preached himself. He said, I am the way. Only a million. He preached himself. I am in the light of the world. Whoever follows me. We have the light of life. He did not preach the disciples. He preached himself. And he commissioned his disciples. They didn't preach themselves. I want to know what's wrong. You must not preach yourself. Oh, good. What's wrong? They preach Christ. I want to know what's wrong. Christ is the Savior. Christ in your lubala. Christ is the Savior. Christ in your lubala. He is the true bread. He is the living water. He said to that woman, "I am the living water. I have a water. When I give you that water, you will never thirst again. So you are to preach Christ. Christ in your good water." That is our commission. Don't preach discipleship. My wife says, "Sonny, don't mention you." Discipleship is not the message of the cross. Is Sonny don't mention you? Can she was so agbele? To preach discipleship is to preach another denomination. See, Oban was so Sonny don't mention you. S M M L O F E G B E K A L E. Stand to your feet. Let us pray. Did the Lord say, "Reject Agbadura"? Lord, help me to get it more clearer. Let it be more clearer to me. The work that must not linger. The work that must not linger. Oh God. Make it clearer. Make it clearer. Make it clearer to each and every one of us. Make it clearer. 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 
Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Will you obey God? Will you go out quickly? Raise up your hand. Lord, I will go out. I will go out. Yes, I will go out. We are going out tomorrow. Lord, I will go out. Tell him, I will so go out. Help me. Help me to do it according to your will. I must not entertain them. I must not discuss issues of churches. I must not discuss matters arising in the nation. I will not be judging any pastors. No, I will not condemn any church. I will not preach discipleship. I will preach Christ. Christ Christ alone. Help my heart, Lord. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, we thank you for all you have We give you praise. Be that exalted, Lord, in Jesus' name. When we come next week to revisit this matter and to conclude it, may we come with clear understanding. May you set our heart ablaze with passion for souls. May you ignite our hearts to preach only Christ Jesus.